Okay, welcome back. This is Mark Kilgard uh, demonstrating uh, GPU accelerated path rendering on NVIDIA uh, GPUs with the NV path rendering OpenGL extension. Uh, we're back seeing this Van Gogh scene that has a lot of gradients on it. Uh, we can go and animate it and see its rendering rate, see the SKIA rendering rate that's uh, about uh, less than a quarter of the GPU rendering rate. Uh, other kind of scenes. Um, we can see the difference that stroking makes on this particular scene. Here's a scene where uh, the GPU does really well on. Uh, th this is a scene where there's just tons and tons of control points here. And it's, it's getting rendered at uh, a very high rendering rate, 200. Uh, 30 frames per second. We come over here and see Skia rendering it at 6, maybe 7 frames a second. Cairo goes and renders this at more respectable uh, 29, 30 frames a second. Uh, QT uh, renders this uh, very slowly. Uh, it's going to probably do it at not even half a frame a second. Uh, Direct2D can do this pretty well. It does it at uh, 48, maybe 50 frames a second. You see it up here. Uh, coming back, um, you can see that the OpenGL extension is doing uh, over 230, 220 frames a second. Um, and it really is rendering at this rate. So, let's see here other kinds of images. Uh, you can go and zoom in and see any of this text and see how it's all constructed and fully resolution independent. Again, we can go and project all this stuff and that's just free on the GPU. If we look at something like what Cairo does here, it, it really can't do these kinds of projections. Um, Skia is capable of doing them, but um, sometimes messes up some of the weirder kind of cases like, like that. that Ski is not quite right there. Um, cars uh, with gradients and transparency. Uh, crown, you can see the, the stroking. Uh, children playing a galleon. Uh, here's an example of a gradient and we can go and look and see Skia rendering this at 30 frames a second. Uh, the GPU renders this at uh, 200 plus frames a second. Um, yeah, gradients uh, are done with programmable shaders, so they're very efficient on the GPU. Uh, we can look at, at, um, at kanji characters like these, and we can zoom in and see all the control points that make up these characters. We can drag them around and see that this is all yeah, interactive, um, all very fast. Um, and again, we can see that you can take any of these and project them, and yeah, that just works. Where on something like uh, Cairo, that doesn't really work quite right. Here's some text that's actually drawn with dashed lines. So if we go and move these control points around, you can see that they're actually all made out of, of dashes. Um, and again, we can render these at 282 frames a second here, you know, 100 frames a second. So substantially faster using the GPU. So a good time to take a break. Uh, we'll come back with a third uh, continuation of this demo.